Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for Lego trains. I love Lego trains. I don't know why anybody would think I don't. But anyway, uh, I'm working on something for my other channel, something that's overdue. Uh, I, I collect the Flying Scotsman, which basically, whoever designed the Emerald Knight, was it Jamie? Did Jamie design the Emerald Knight? L let me know in the comments below. Did Jamie from... Lego Masters, I think I think he's the one that designed the Lego um, Emerald Knight train. But it's one... Well, first of all, the Emerald Knight set 10194. I've done a video on it a long, long, long time ago. Uh, and I've done something today is... Well, this is a big video. A lot of good things in this video. First of all, I, I made a mock. It, it's not very good, but it's a mock. I made... A water car for my Flying Scotsman, which is the Emerald Knight. I call it the Flying Scotsman. It's, it's the Emerald Knight, but it's the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> and so I'm, that set came with a tender and just one passenger car. And I, I finally, after all this time, I made a water tender. I don't know if I'm happy with it or not, but it's my water tender, and I'm going to live with it. Uh, I wanted to put numbers on it, and I did. But the numbers that are left on the sticker sheet, I actually used this numbers from the sticker sheet for the Emerald Knight because I, what am I ever going to do with those numbers? I didn't have enough. I want to put 4472, but they're not in the same font as the 10194. It also doesn't make any sense for it to say 10194 here and then 4472 here. Like this is 4472. The HO scale version I have, I, actually, yeah, this this is OO. Runs on HO scale trait, but it's OO. Um, it has the two, it has the, the tender and the water tender. Oh, you know what? I need to put the little pipe to load the water into. So the, if you don't know, the Flying Scotsman, the Emerald Knight, this is basically a combination tender with, so you'd have the coal in the real world. We'd have the coal and then have the water. But for longer excursions, you need a little more water for the steam, for the steam train. And so this, the, the water would be in this tender. So I need to put a thing to load the water. This actually isn't the, the Emerald, now that I look at the Emerald Knight, it's not a very good representation. The, this part, the part on the back of the tender should have been a little higher. Yeah, I don't think they did it right. <laughs> or it's based on another locomotive. It's still, it, anyway, I'm not criticizing the Emerald Knight because it's an amazing uh, Lego set. It's one of the most valuable Lego locomotives. Uh, these things, new in the box, will run you about $800 to $1,000. And a used one, uh, try to find one for less than $550. Yeah. So I did own four at one time. <laughs> I accidentally sold them. Because I, I, the reason I bought four is I want to have more of the car. And now the car is incredibly expensive to make as well because the windows... We're only in this set. Uh, the, there's 10, 10 windows. But this video wasn't about this uh, Flying Scotsman, even though I've talked about it for most of the video. Let's see if I can make this flying. <gasps> it still works. The Flying Scotsman works. So it's only got one. It looks just, it looks sad with only one passenger car. So what Lego should have done back in the day, and I think I meant, I, you know, I didn't go back and watch. Oh, he hit the train. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go back and watch my original vid video, but I'm pretty sure I, I, I probably said something about I wish they made at, more add-on cars for the Emerald Knight. You know, Lego, you could still do that. You wouldn't even have to re. You wouldn't even have to reissue the Emerald Knight. Just make some more cars for it. Make some more passenger cars. Make a brake coach for the Emerald Knight. It, it would sell like crazy. <laughs> It'd sell better than the stuff you make now. Uh, so that's enough about the Emerald Knight. I'm going to be doing a video uh, for Trains Are Fun. That's my train channel, in case you don't know. Uh, yeah, this, actually, this type of video, if I, if I do it right, it's the featuring all the different versions of the Flying Scotsman that I have. Those tend to do very well on my train channel but I haven't done one in a really really long time so it's overdue to do one so you're getting a sneak peek I hadn't even filmed the video for 
for that channel. But I'm excited because I actually built a mock. And it, like, it makes me want to redo the, the other one <laughs> to make it look more like the actual Flying Scotsman locomotives. So anyway, enough of that. So in, in building this mock, I found things in my collection. <laughs> Uh, I found, uh, first of all, I found the charger for the batteries. Uh, so I did buy the charger at Brick Fair, Alabama. And then I proceeded to lose it, but I f did find it. So now I can charge my rechargeable batteries. These are not, the, these don't have the AAA. It's actually just the battery from Lego. I'm going to turn this thing off. Uh, but yeah, I found it. So that's good. I got two rechargeable batteries that I haven't been able to charge for a couple of years. All right, now let's show you what I found uh, while I was uh, looking for parts for my water tank, tanker tender thingy. This is what I found. <laughs> it's got a ladybug in it. <laughs> How long has this been in the basement? So this, um, found this set. It is from 1975. <laughs> it is... The, um, oh, it's missing pieces. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. That's weird. I don't think this is my printout from this, is it? Oh yeah, it's from Pyron. So, interesting enough, I have the instructions. I have a partial box. It's missing one side. I have a partial set. I'm missing something. It's got, actually, an extra dually wheel. It's missing a two by four plate and a four by 10 plate. So I'm gonna show you how to build this uh, very old set. So you put the windshield on like that and then these one by fours go like that. And this, I'm not even looking at the instructions guys. This is, oh, there's the ladybug, the dead ladybug. Poor ladybug, been dead probably for five years uh, put those pieces like that oh I forgot to get the wheel so I'm missing these are called dualies this is also a dually but it shouldn't be a dually in the front so I'm gonna put this piece right here and put the headlight brick right there I'm gonna go get a single wheel uh, for the front wheel oops <laughs> Sometimes with these old pieces, they don't stick well. All right, so there you go. Set 435 Tipper Truck. I watched another guy that did a YouTube video, so this is rare. This set's very rare. So, um, got a rare Tipper Truck set 435, and I found it in my basement when I was looking for parts for my Flying Scotsman. So, who knows? Maybe the Tipper Truck will be. Um, a very valuable and rare set. Uh oh, didn't, didn't build it good there. One day, what do you think? I got the box. Might go sell this on eBay for thousands of dollars. Think it's worth more than the Emerald Knight? It's older. So the to to get parts for the Emerald Knight and the actual tra track that's running, I got the curve sections out here. There's supposed to be some straights in here. For some reason, I didn't find them. Uh, they must be in another box or something, but um, yeah, I, I had a sealed copy of this. I opened it just to build the Emerald Knight. So I picked up some more of the uh, Ultra Pro two pocket pages. I ran out of those when I was doing my instructions. The two pocket pages, not two pocket pages, the two pocket pages work good for some of the smaller instructions, uh, which I'll be getting, well, I probably need to go back and redo some of these. So I've been, <laughs> I've been putting the instructions in binders in numerical order. I'm up to about 8,000. So this starts at 00, zero and it goes up to, let's see, this was the last one I did. I put it in this comic album. This goes up, oh yeah, we're in the 7,000s. Seven, 7, I think this ended with the 7,900s. So the next one to do is the 8,000s. And then, of course, go back and add things. I'm just using whatever binder. One day I may go back and get like all uniform binders that are all the same size where it might look better on the shelf. But right now I'm just like reading. These are old training manuals from work that are outdated <laughs> that I salvaged. 
but uh, yeah I'm up to the 8000s and like the tipper truck it would go in uh, this binder here and so these can oh I already got the instructions wow who who knew I got the instructions for the tipper truck so I could put that other instruction manual in here I've got another one huh but the um this one doesn't have some this is like the four pocket ones but the two pockets they do work for some of the other uh instruction manuals so yeah i picked up some of those i think you got them either on amazon or ebay um, i can't remember all right so now we're going to get to the haul portion of the video and the first thing this is from cheap aaron bricks um, from holland and ballin fame so Aaron did a, um, a, a YouTube auction. Not wasn't a whatnot. I don't know how to use whatnot. I know a lot of people are using whatnot. Looks really cool. I'd love to do it, but every time people are doing their auctions, I'm not available to do them. I kind of like the eBay format where you can just like place your bid or schedule your bid. But the whatnot, you actually got to be there. And so hopefully one day. I will be able to be there. And it's like, even with like um, this Holland and Ballin stream, I was listening to it. I was actually working in my Bricklink store. So he happened to be doing it at a time when I was home. Um, and I was listening to it. But since I was put, I was putting parts away in my Bricklink store. So I wasn't like in the chat because I was trying to be productive. <laughs> and then I heard him put this up for, for sale. And I went in there and slapped a bid on it. And I won it. I don't know if it was good or not, because it does not have the instructions, apparently. But this is the Phantom. So I had the Ghost, but I didn't have the Phantom. I probably played way too much for the other oh, Peace Ghost. Um, there's one of the minifigures. Oh, it's got this dude, the blue dude, from Avatar. Was he from Avatar? Was he? I got that dude. So yeah, I got this for the um, the ghost, which I had thought I was going to sell, but I was like, you know what? I never got this this piece. It actually sits inside the ghost. So what I'm going to do is take this thing completely apart, wash it, inventory it, and apparently I'm going to be going on the brick link and looking for a copy of the instructions. So I can have a complete one, and then I'll think about selling all of that later. Why is this thing so weak and loose? All right, look now. This 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 actually is uh, the the DD brick. So DD bricks, he followed up and he did say, you know, he he sent me the track in which I already had, and and he confirmed the same thing I had that it was still on the boat. But about a week later, after that, it showed up. The boat finally made it here. Um, Gilligan must have been driving the boat, that's all I can say. Uh, so, but it's packed. This is why I got confused. Uh, he packed it like this other seller, or another seller packed it like him. And what do we got here? Oh. Okay, so we got a few blue rails. Some one by one rounds with solid stud. Those are vintage pieces. Uh, these are windshields. Oh, those are, wow. These are just like the windshields on this old truck. So these gotta be valuable. Two by, whoa, the two by four plates are on this old truck as well. So is these. Uh, and then some uh, two by eight plates. Those are for the blue rail tracks to go like that. So it looks like I got a lot of the um, four by 10 plates that's from dd bricks uh, so that's a simple order but wow, what a coincidence that it would have the same pieces as this set this little set that i found in my basement so our last brick link one is from loon bricks from the netherlands packed it with uh that's duct tape i would not recommend using duct tape and i know macgyver swears by it uh, he, he gets all MacGyver on it, but um, he, I don't know. I just wouldn't use duct tape. All right, what do we got here? 
It's failure to communicate. All right, we got this, which is, according to this little label on the back, the base plate for set 353 white bungalow. He's got a number on it, but it does appear, man, this thing's in really good shape. There's no broken studs. It's very shiny. It's got the white dots. So I'm piecing together that set, set 353. This is the most important piece to get. Uh, the next most important piece after that are the two uh, white antennas with eight prongs. So I need to find those. All right, what else do we got? We got this set. I already have this, but it has the box. So it was a good price. I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and get it. So this is another one of the scooter sets. It's only for people that have a B average in school. If you have C and below, you cannot play with this set. All right, the next one is set 618. Oh, good grief. Why do you do this? The box is taped. Why? It, it means he did it. The guy I bought it from. Why, why would you tape it back shut? There's no reason to tape it. This is dumb. You can't take tape off. I got. Oh, I'll have to try the steam method, but um, oh, I wanted to. Now I'm gonna have to do this. I hate that he put tape on it. So I want to see if it had the stickers. I can't remember when I ordered this if it had the stickers. It's not assembled, so it appears that it does not have the sticker. Wonderful. I, I, I don't remember. Um, so this is set 618. Also re-released is set 628. It's police helicopter. So that is, I believe, a sticker over assembly because the largest brick in here looks like a 2x3. Uh, and you got these 1x2. Yeah, so it would go over a couple of parts on each side. Uh, it does, does have this sticker for some reason. Is this a bed? <laughs> it's got a sticker for a bed. That probably goes to a train set. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I did not have the box for this set. Uh, and I'm apparently still going to be looking for the uh, stickers. I, it probably said no stickers. Um, I got this set, which I did not have the box. Also for only B average students. Uh, if you have a C, uh, you cannot play with this. Uh, this is cool that it has the box, but again, I already had the set. Uh, I had a set like this as a kid, but it would not have this set number. It would have had a different set number, but that is the, the that is by far, without a doubt, the coolest tricycle that any policeman has ever rode. All right, all right, and we got all these blue rails, tons of blue rails, more blue rails. Uh, we got, this is Gold Getaway set. This is one of the uh, Lego agents. My son, oh, there it is. It's got the uh, the golden Tyrannosaurus Rex baby. Um, so that's, got that set. And apparently, oh my goodness. That, that set, it looks just like this one. What? What? I got three of them. Wow. And then we also got this one. Uh, Mama with baby and Minecraft dog. So, wow. I, man, if I'd known I was going to find this in my basement, I wouldn't have had to buy these. I, oh, I must have accidentally bought three. What to do with the controller? Oh, it's right there. All right, so I'm sure this is the best video you've watched today. So how exciting, man. I, I have the Flying Scotsman. I found this cool little set, tipper truck. But, oh, egg on my face. I accidentally bought three more, so I got four. That's probably like, man, I probably got more of these sets than anybody in the whole world now. Having four of these. Um, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, it's, it's rare. And... I own it, so don't know what else to say about that. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. 
I'm going to go play with some trains and uh, just stay tuned and be sure to you're subscribed to the channel. I don't say that a lot in my videos, but I just got some exciting things coming up. I haven't been able to do as much with videos. Uh, we've had to close the brick queen store. I've not been able to pick orders. My wife has not actually even been here to pick orders. It's like I, <laughs> so <laughs> when your unpaid labor is not here to pick orders, you have to close the store, but we do have big things coming. So um, stay tuned for the big things uh, that we got coming. And see you guys in the next, oh, I just broke my tipper truck. See you in the next video. How does this thing work? Does that go there? Bye.